Okay, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. There's, there's been another, another one of these videos. And if you can't uh, kind of tell what this is from the title or thumbnail, this kid, he made a video uh, calling Caroline Flack, who, if you don't know who she is, uh, she's a UK TV presenter, and she sadly passed away a few days ago. This kid uploaded a video FaceTiming her, not even an hour after the news came out. Like, I remember I went on Twitter, I saw the news, and then I saw people tweeting this at me. And honestly, I I'm fed up of making these. Like, my channel has basically become, oh, this this, this man exploited dead people recently. That, that That's not very good. But you'd have thought from previous actions of others, like we had uh, Jay Station, obviously, that kid that called Kobe Bryant. You'd have thought that this this isn't a good thing. Like, I get that oh, any publicity is good publicity, but not in this case. This and being accused of being a nonce are like the, the two kinds of publicity you don't want in any circumstance. Now, before I get 100,000 copies going, it's, ba it's bait, George. It's, it's bait. And I, I know, I know it's bait. Like, th this kid kids just doing this for like attention and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys not to go over to this guy's channel. I mean, it's not going to be difficult to find. I I'm going to blur his, he's got a big Instagram watermark on his video as if anyone would watch this video and be like, oh yeah, I, I want to keep up to date with this guy. But yeah, uh, his videos and stuff aren't exactly hard to find. Like you just need to type in what the video is basically about in the YouTube search and it'll probably come up. Just please don't go over to this kid just because he, he wants the publicity and I, I don't think he understands how bad this could affect his life. Like, this kid might not get a job in the future because of this. I know I'll probably watch this and be like, oh, I don't want a job anyway. I'll, I'll just do YouTube. No, you won't. I'm, I'm sorry to be blunt, but you won't. I've watched a couple of your other videos. They're not great. And this video kind of just cements the fact that you, you'll never be big on YouTube. Like, this video may have got, like, what, 20,000 views or whatever. But being brutally honest, it's, it's all downhill from here, Chief. And the awful thing is, on an Instagram live stream, he said he wanted to be like Jay Station. If you look at Jay Station, bro, look at it. Which is quite an awful role model to have. And I know like someone with like five brain cells would look at a chase station and be like, oh, he's, he's doing really well for himself. But trust me, you don't want to have five million subscribers off the back of people hating you, no matter how much money it makes you. And yeah, that is uh, Ryan Franklin or uh, Craig. We'll get more into this Instagram live after we look at the video. But it's basically like a secondary school argument. Admit you're a nerd. Admit you're a nerd. Go on, admit you're a nerd. Oh, oh massive nerd, mate. Massive nerd. Admit, admit you're a bit of a pagan though. But anyway, let's just uh, let's just get into this. Oh my god, guys! I have got Caroline Flack's number, and I'm going to be proving if she is dead or alive. Why do oh, it's a signature of the shite YouTubers that really obnoxiously loud like TV error effect? Why do they always have it so loud? Do they not know how to like turn down the volume? Like name me a singular good YouTuber that uses that. Name one. I I, I challenge you. Today, you know, guys, basically I'm gonna be ringing Caroline Flat because apparently she is dead. Apparently she's been found dead in her house today. Oh, yeah, mate. Uh, I'm sure all the news companies are just wrong about it, and you and your two. GCSEs will figure out the truth. Also, I've noticed recently, it's not even really the young kids that do these videos. This kid's 17. I get that he knows that this is wrong. I don't need to say that because he knows it is. He, he's just doing this for attention. But I don't think he's quite reached the level where he realises, oh, this could ruin my life forever. So yeah, guys, do actually enjoy this video. Don't forget to go down below and smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road. That is the worst like and subscribe overlay I've ever seen. Like, he, he hasn't even put any... I say he hasn't put effort into this. As if that's the worst thing about this video, but couldn't you just cut out the black bars on the side? So here's a number. I'm not going to be the number out because obviously I don't want you guys to be ringing her. Yeah, he's a, he's a moral man, this kid. He, he's not going to bait out her number. Would never do such a thing. Definitely not because he just doesn't want to show his mate's number. So I've put, hello, Caroline, there's rumours that you are dead. Is this true? Please let me know. And we've said that. Nah, let's see if she got a flash of flies. I know I'm gonna sound like a massive boomer here, but I I fit I fear for this generation. But like he messaged someone who's who's dead and went, oh, I, I, I hope she's got fast replies. I put can we FaceTime to prove you're real? I have to put something on first. Oh my god, guys, we will be FaceTiming Caroline Flack. It's just how shameless this kid is in everything he's doing. But I don't get. I I mean I don't show my face, so I guess I, I think about these things more than like the average YouTuber. But I don't get how you can put your face to this because you, you know you you're gonna go out in the street. People are gonna recognize you from this. And not even the good kind of recognize where they come up to you and take a photo or whatever. You're just gonna get abuse on the streets for this, mate. Oh my god, guys, Caroline's actually FaceTiming us right now, guys. Oh my god. Yo, Caroline, is that you? Are you alive, Caroline? I mean, 
I can't say this isn't exactly what I expected. I can't even go, oh, look, oh this is this is so low effort. Oh, why, why couldn't you just like put a video up or, or, or something? Why do you just only do a picture? Because the effort in this video is like the last thing I should care about. But I just I just had to show that to show just how little he actually cares. So, what do you guys think? I think that's fake. To be fair, guys. What really? For real? Did ask no cap? You think that's fake? Turn notifications on. This video was kind of a skit, like entertainment kind of video. Don't take this video serious. I'm not doing this for views or anything like that. <laughs> Why is he so straight faced while saying that? What do you mean you're not doing this for views? That that's the whole point of this video. Like, I hate it normally when YouTubers are like, oh. I'd I don't, I don't do it for, yes you do, you, you make YouTube videos to get views. Anyone that says they don't care about views on YouTube is bullshitting you. I'm just doing this simply just to promote mental health, like, because she died of suicide. Oh yeah mate, you're doing bits for mental health here. Wouldn't be surprised if this video cured depression. There's probably many people out there that were thinking, oh, I might just, might just do it. And they watched this video and they were like, oh nah, I, I won't, this, this kid turns me away from them dark thoughts. But right, moving on from the video, um, he had an Instagram live session and uh, a good old Ryan Franklin joins. I said at the beginning of the video, I was going to look at it after this video, but now I look back on the whole footage from that live, there's not really that much to say other than the fact that this kid thinks he's solid for some reason you think you're bad bro i'd kill you off <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, to top it all off, he proceeded to DM good old Craig uh, these messages. Why are you talking road? You ain't on road, posh nerd. <laughs> and you're on road, yeah? Bro, you, you never shifted a pack in your life. Oh yeah, this, this man, he's the Pablo Escobar of Scumfort. He was on road straight out of the womb. Yeah, but it's just, uh, why? Why? why you didn't not? have good intentions with the video, you know what I mean? Controversy is the best. Controversy is not even a word. And I mean, it's not because you've now, like, ruined some of your future prospects over this. Not that I imagined he had many, but, you know. He comes to me. Wait, what? Did he just say come to ins Insomnia? Insomnia Gaming Festival? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'd be a warning to all goers of Insomnia Gaming Festival. This kid who's been on road <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna say, no one who has ever been to Insomnia Gaming Festival has ever been on road or shifted a pack. But anyway, this next clip comes from an Instagram live with uh, the, the kid, obviously. And my editor Joe, who's responsible for the, the great meme you less videos. So yeah, he went on his live stream for wh whatever whatever reason, and uh, this clip came out of it. Well, you're gonna uh, clean your laptop anyway. Oh, why would I clean my laptop? I've literally done nothing wrong except for makeup. What do you mean you've done nothing wrong? Are you, f are you stupid? made a controversial video yeah so you've done something wrong you just contradicted yourself in like five seconds all right cool so what do you expect me to do now make an apology okay, apologize and start making good content i did make good content before yeah speaking of that uh let's have a look at his content before all right what we got here uh we got caught underage drinking lmao i skimmed through this video by the way because i was quite intrigued uh it was it was very uninteresting so i'm, I'm not even going to show it finding the hardest person in leads oh that's a vi that's a video i want to click on and I i'm not even going to say his title I i'll just throw it up on screen but how has how has youtube pushed this to 159k people and more importantly why aren't these videos taken down? Why isn't this channel taken down? Like the fact that this channel has 27k subscribers. 27k? It's just astounding. Someone at YouTube must have seen this channel by now. But yeah, um, as I mentioned, please don't go over and... Uh, please don't go over and send hate for one. Two, don't... Don't give him attention, because that's what he thrives off. Don't give him the attention he wants. Right, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, before I go, I just want to say a few things. I said this on my Twitter, and I posted it on my Instagram story, but I'm probably going to be taking a couple weeks off YouTube. On my main channel, that is. I'll still be uploading on my second. But the thing is, I've been uploading consistently for about three years now, and I haven't really taken breaks. I've never really taken a dedicated break. And before, I've never really felt a need to take a break, but right now, I I, I don't know why. I, I feel such an urge just to take like some a dedicated chunk of time off but i feel as though i should just to you know reach i won't be gone for like months or something it'll probably just be like a week or two but i just wanted to mention it because i, I i've uploaded so consistently throughout the last three years that even taking a week off is completely alien to me but yeah um i'll still be uploading on the second channel as i mentioned should have a video going up on there in the next like day or two i opened a load of uh, pokemon cards I, I spent 300 quid on pokemon cards and opened them in a video so um yeah uh if you're interested in that go to my second channel but yeah anyway guys i uh, hope you enjoyed today's video uh if you did be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.